we can see patterns actually in what they do. So that's kind of what I want to highlight. And we have to kind of rethink a lot of things from the past as well. So I've uh, identified three stages of Illuminati sacrifice death hoaxes. The first stage is the official story. It's kind of uh, come suddenly. It's, it's like this mass media bombardment of information of some kind of tragic death surrounded by mystery and intrigue right oftentimes with a drug overdose or some kind of accident maybe an assassination there's many different types uh, depending on what the people do for a living and many people continue to believe the official story but those with a bit more inquisitive nature dig into things a bit and they see that things don't quite add up and they move on to the second stage maybe some of you are like this i know i am I move to the second stage, conspiracy theories, because the official story just doesn't make sense, right? But a lot of people just don't even think, right? They, don't, they have a brain, but they don't use it. Conspiracy theories usually involve some kind of murder and cover-up. Many of us get stuck at stage two, and we think we got it all figured out, myself included. Until recently, I was usually a, a second stage conspiracy theorist. You know, I knew the official story didn't make sense. So I'd go to the second stage, murder cover-up. Uh, well, the third stage is actually the guy didn't die. It was a fake death, as uh, Dave Johnson so eloquently states, nobody died, nobody got hurt. Most people are still at the first stage, tragic death, surrounded by mystery. We have to be at the third stage, fake death, new identity. Okay, and I'm going to focus on this today a lot, because last year I made an amazing discovery of a new identity of one of these fake deaths. And I believe I was the first guy to spot it. Uh, so the person's still alive, usually in disguise, as someone mentioned in the news. That's a key point right there. Usually in disguise, as somebody mentioned immediately after the fake death. And I'll show you some examples of this. So that's how we can spot who the person is now. Who are they now in disguise? It's going to be the person that's associated with the dead celebrity, oftentimes somebody we'd never even heard of before that doesn't really seem to have even existed. The supposedly dead celebrity becomes a martyr for a cause, a New World Order cause, some kind of propaganda in the media. These days it seems to be more and more androgynous. The uh, dead celebrity is actually some kind of martyr for the gay agenda or for the transgender agenda. Basically, it's the Illuminati tranny agenda, the transhumanist agenda, which I'll uh, explain later. First example, David Bowie. You know, he released an album, Black Star, a pentagram on the cover, all kinds of symbols, and he dies. I think it was the next day, right? And then I, I did see on YouTube a, a lot of... Uh, conspiracy theories you know fake death and i was like well why would they do it i didn't really believe it just because i thought well what's the point it just seems like a pointless thing to fake your death really like i just didn't get the point of i couldn't see why they would do it therefore i didn't believe it even happened you know that was my thinking just a year ago in this particular case i think it was the next day very soon afterwards his what I call his doppelganger, gave an interview. This guy, Jack, I mean, just look at the photos. He looks like David Bowie. I mean, it's uncanny resemblance, okay? It looks like a bit of a younger David Bowie, actually, but it still looks like David Bowie, you know? Obviously, there's some kind of disguise going on there. And I saw that, and I was like, well, that's just weird. I still thought, well, it can't be the same guy, because why? I just couldn't figure out why they would do it. Here's why. Because David Bowie became a martyr for a cause hailed as a gender-bending hero in the media. So he became an androgynous martyr. You know, when these celebrities die, especially if you're a fan, you kind of associate their entire catalog of work with their death and what that cause was for, what they stood for. This guy was supposed to be some kind of uh, pioneer in image, an image pioneer, but it was an androgynous image. That's all it was, nothing more, nothing less. And it was supposed to, you know, all the liberals think that's a good thing. They're promoting this idea that somehow we're in the prison and bondage of gender. We're all trapped in that gender that we didn't choose, you know, and we're supposed to become gods now, right? So we have to choose our own gender. We have to recreate ourselves in our own image. That's the drug, the elixir being offered to us by the New World Order. Prince, I actually discovered this. As far as I know, I don't know anybody who just figured this out before I did. Died of a quote-unquote 
drug overdose, even though he didn't do drugs. Very hard to do. Very hard to die of a drug overdose if you don't do drugs. It's very improbable. Conspiracy theories swirl about the murder, right? Me too. So I, I went to the second stage of murder and cover-up. I thought, well, he was murdered, obviously, right? I didn't believe the official story. Mysterious and previously unknown sister Tyka Nelson suddenly appears in the news and media a lot, right? Every day. Oh, she's going to inherit his fortune, blah, blah, blah. Who's, he didn't have a will. And she gave kind of bizarre speeches, kind of telling two different stories the whole time, you know, and she, she has a very unbelievable background. It's just not believable. A crack whore, but also a recording artist who didn't work with Prince, even though she sounds just like Prince and all these kind of things. So, you know, and she dropped hands. She said, oh, yeah, we were very close. And then she said, oh, we were not that close. And she said, I knew he was going to die for two years and all these weird things, you know. Um, she's over it. She's not phased at all. But then sometimes she's grieving. You know, it's just, it doesn't make doesn't add up. If you look into it, Prince is alive, living as his sister, Tyka Nelson. Guarantee you, I will go to Paisley Park, meet with her myself, Pick up a couple of guitars, we'll jam, okay? Let's jam. Prince, let's jam. You can dress up like Taika if you want, I don't care. Let's just jam, play a little funky music, all right? I'm a white boy from the same hometown as you, you know? Give me a little respect, let's jam. I know you're Prince, you know you're Prince. I've got death threats over this one, all right? I call a lot of people out on a lot of stuff. This is the one that I've got one of the biggest backlashes of all. And I haven't seen anybody talking about this yet. If you have a YouTube channel, you can talk about this, all right? You can talk about it. Don't just copy my work. Give your own opinion. Do your own research. But this idea is out there, all right? I started it. You can continue this idea. Prince is Taika. Look at the photo. This, I'll just show you this one photo. Ask yourself, be honest, is that Prince or not? No, they don't look alike because it's a sister. It's not his sister. She doesn't exist. She doesn't have a real history, okay? There's no photos of them together. None, zero, not one. Nothing. So the mysterious and previously unknown person close to the artist who died suddenly appears, and that's all the media talks about. Remember, the media is in on all this stuff. The media controls the whole thing, all right? It's a media show. It's a big reality show. We're essentially living in the Truman Show run by the Illuminati, all right? That's what's going on. It's all a big re scripted reality show. They're all playing the part. Prince was playing the part of Prince. Now he's playing the part of Taika. Same with David Bowie. He dies, suddenly this lookalike guy comes out of nowhere giving interviews. It's David Bowie. Same with Prince. He dies suddenly out of nowhere. Tyka Nelson's all over the news. They're putting these people right in front of us. And they're laughing at us because people are so blind. They think it's hilarious that we are so easily deceived going back to the Garden of Eden. They think we're stupid. They hate us. They drink our blood and they eat our children. All right. Prince is hailed again as another androgynous hero who even typo there. That should be even who even changed his name to an occult symbol that unites both genders. He has a guitar made. Don't, Prince, if, we, if I come and we jam, don't play that purple guitar with the both symbols, man. They ain't going to fly with me, all right? Maybe you should just play drums. All right, Princess Diana, I've done a video on her before. This one's very interesting, same pattern. Tragic auto accident and with a lot of intrigue and drama. People were crying. The Illuminati was laughing. Think about that. Conspiracy theories of murder. Eventually... You know, I don't know how soon it came out, but eventually there started to be conspiracy theories of murder, right? Maybe the royal family, maybe uh, somebody else, whatever. You know, all kinds of conspiracy theories. It was a murder. It was a sabotage. They caused the accident. Blah, blah, blah. All kinds of conspiracy theories. We got to move to stage three with this one, people. Stage three. This one was a while ago, like 20 years ago, right? So that was before we knew too much about stage three. Got to go to stage three now. We all got stuck on stage two we got to go back and go to stage three. Who are they? Well, she was good friends with Elton John, who sang Candle in the Wind, right? With new lyrics for Diana at the funeral, at this big production in the Truman Show, right? Big Illuminati media production. It's all a show. It's all a show. This is a show. The news is a reality show. The news is entertainment for them. <laughs> to, to watch us. To watch us believe this shit is entertaining for them, man. Princess Diana died, and then Elton John was in the news a lot, right, around that time, as a guy related to Princess Diana somehow for, from some kind of deep friendship. Elton John, of course, uh, 
gay, according to the media, a gay man. Uh, very good friends with Diana, who was, I think she was kind of a gay icon as well, right? The, the gay people liked her for some reason. She was maybe did some kind of um, charity or stuff, propaganda for the gay people. David Furnish, Elton John's husband, that's propaganda right there, right? The celebrity marrying another dude for the new laws, propaganda. Laws that Diana probably helped uh, make. David Furnish has no real documented history before these events. Conclusion, Princess Diana is alive and living as David Furnish. Princess Diana is alive and living as David Furnish. Look at the smile. They have the same smile. They have changed a few things on David. I believe they altered the eyes a little bit. She no longer has those sparkly, radiant eyes. Um, they have the same forehead. David does not have this wig on with full of hair. Diana had the same size forehead, just lots of hair. This guy's kind of half bald. I believe Diana was a man, male to female, transgendered. I know that's going to be hard for many of you to see it, but I can see it. I've looked at that a lot. Some of you may think Diana is now a female to male, transgendered, living as David. I believe this 100%. All right. I came across this through a Jungle Surfer's channel. He's done some really good work on this and has discovered uh, photo shot. There's one photo of Diana and David Furnish together, and he has exposed that as being 100% photoshopped. So why would they photoshop a photo at a funeral, of all things, if there's no cover-up? Now it looks like a man gained weight, older. Remember, it's about 20 years older now. Heavier, even more muscular, right? Not taking the female hormones, man. That'll change your appearance. So anyway, he's got this producer of a movie called It's a Boy-Girl Thing, 2006. Sworn enemies find themselves in each other's bodies. A boy finds himself in a girl's body. A girl finds himself in a boy's body. It's a boy-girl thing. And it's a tranny thing, too, apparently. And these are two trannies. It's body-swapping brilliant. I don't even know if this is a real movie. He's trying to get out of her knickers. Well, that's what David Furnish was doing while he was living as Diana. David Furnish was trying to get out of Diana's knickers and has done so now and is married to Elton John, the FTM. Very, very strange world indeed. Three stages of Illuminati sacrifice, fake deaths, people. Princess Diana is one of them. Happened 20 years ago. Not many of us were at stage three back then. We got to go back. There's a pattern to this. They have a methodology. They are laughing at us. Now we can laugh at them a little bit. That's why I laugh at them now. All right. These people are not so scary, actually. They're just deceiving spirits.